soul trapped in this body. I all, thank you. I often question, you know, whether it is ever possible for uh, human beings to be completely free. But then I also ask myself, is it possible for trees to be free with their roots embedded in the ground? Is it really possible for any living being to ever be free? But maybe it is just about, you know, being accountable for ourselves is what is freedom. But I leave it, you know, out up to you guys to define what freedom is. I'll read a couple of my haiku that have been published in the Well Earned. One of them, when I shared it in a public forum, there were attempts to tame it because of one pronoun that I had used. So, yeah, I'll, it's embers, the coal beneath his eyes, unsmudged. And then I go back to a memory of my childhood, you know. Uh, we used to stay in Saket, and Saket at that time wasn't this bustling uh, uh, city, this bustling, you know, like, uh, uh, what do you say, hyper-urban uh, part of Delhi. It was, uh, it was almost all fields and there were these, these government quarters uh, in the middle of those fields and we would, you know, often go for walks with our parents. And even when, you know, like when we were inside the house at times, you know, we would suddenly hear a gunshot and the flutter of wings, pigeons' wing, wings. So there were, you know, hunters out there carrying uh, guns and they would simply, you know, like shoot a couple of pigeons, carry them home to cook and eat. So, yeah, uh, this haiku is about that particular memory. Wings, shock of them taking off at gunshot. So that's all, Kizida. That's Thank all. you so much, Bikram. Ankush, I'm requesting you to read uh, your poems from the book.